Growing up at the beach in the 50s was great. My friends and I used to collect pop and beer bottles all the way along up until Wreck Beach. At Wreck Beach, I remember we used to find full bottles of pop out in the rocks. I guess someone had dropped a bunch of pop somewhere in the ocean and they would end up there. Stubby, kick cola or whistle drink. That was a bottle that was shaped like a girl. Me and my friends would go there if we were thirsty. I lived at Locarno Beach and at that time there were tons of huts around the corner for the military. The official entry into the base was at 2nd and Discovery. It was all fenced off and there were armed soldiers at the gate and a little jail. I got to go inside because I delivered papers in there in my early youth. As kids we knew there were holes in the fence and we would sneak in there at night to a large pond to catch frogs. We used to transfer the frogs from that to our local pond across the street from our house. I also delivered papers to the hospital. Not a lot of people knew there was a hospital right on the beach. It was a TB hospital. I had to put the papers in a special box since I wasn't allowed to go in there. Many of my family members became lifeguards and I followed in their footsteps in 1960. I was assigned my first three years to Locarno Beach. I remember getting up late in the morning and putting on my bathing suit and walking across the beach to work. I have been in the lifeguarding business ever since.